Hey guys, real quick before we jump into the episode, let's handle some housekeeping. First of all, uh, shortly after this video is released, hopefully I'll hit 5,000 subscribers. Thank you so much to all of you who subscribed. Blows my mind that 5,000 people would even want to watch me shoot a film camera. Really appreciate it. Two, on my website, very soon, probably in the next five to six days, I will be announcing a portrait film photography workshop. All of the details will be on MacShootsFilm.com. Uh, we're going to have that workshop in Atlanta. Hope to see you there. Okay, guys. This, uh, this week's episode is just me going out uh, in Arizona to Papago Park with the intent of capturing sunset landscape photos. My dumb self messed around with black and white film and almost missed sunset with Fuji Velvia 50 film, which was the whole intent of the video. Sometimes things don't go according to plan, but even though I only had like five minutes for sunset with Fuji Velvia 50, I think I grabbed one decent shot. Anyway, you be the judge of that. So check out the video. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. If you like this content, give it a thumbs up. That always helps. Okay, enough of me talking. Let's go shoot some landscapes. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Max Shoots Film. Okay, today we are at Papago Park in Scottsdale, Arizona. I think it's technically Tempe. So what are we doing? Well, I have had this roll of Velvia 50 for I would say probably three years. I accidentally bought this when I first got into 35 millimeter film. I um, <laughs> wanted some slide film i had just googled or found on google slide film i didn't know really what it was so i did some research online i started find out, finding out about slide film and i was like well i definitely need some of that so i bought it i didn't know the difference between 120 and 135 so i bought 120. well now i'm finally going to shoot it i've never shot slide film through a medium format camera this will be my first fourier into that i'll be metering with the metered prism finder on my Mamiya 645. I'll be using an 80 millimeter f 2.8 lens. Now I have about 30 minutes before sunset and it's pretty crap light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot some Ilford HP5 and just do some uh, detail shots like I would at a wedding, right? Cacti, shrubbery, water. And then about maybe 10 minutes before sunset, hopefully I'll burn through this roll of HP5 and I'll fire up the Velvia 50 and do more sweeping shots. Now we have pretty high level of cloud cover, which is unique. I am in the desert, but it's just outside of monsoon season. So there's lingering humidity in the sky. Um, but I think it's going to make for a really amazing sunset. It's going to light these clouds up. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to load up this HP5, burn through that with the detail shots, and then let's load up some Velvia 50. This is, like I said, it's about three years old. It has an expiration of actually 2020, so it should still be good. I've moved to like five different states since I bought this. I'll move, put it in the refrigerator, move, put it in the refrigerator. So it has been refrigerated the entire time. We're going to see how it turns out, guys. This is going to be insane. Can't wait for you to see it. So the light keeps varying. It's, uh, it's either super cloudy or that sun, as you can see on my face, breaks through and it's really intense. So all I'm doing, like I said before, is just walking around and, you know, trying to grab a little detail shots while I shoot this HP5. I just saw a rabbit over here uh, in this thicket. So yeah, burning some shots until sunset, until we get that amazing light. I mean, this canopy of clouds all above me, I'm really hoping it lights up with color. But wow, there is some amazing stuff over here. Look at those rock formations. 
absolutely beautiful. We'll try to capture some of those from up on the top of uh, this point over here. So you see that pyramid right there. That pyramid actually is the first governor of Arizona. He is buried in that along with his family right up there. And he was obsessed with Egypt. I think he was back in the 30s. And he said, when I'm buried, I want to be on a high vantage point overlooking the Valley of the Sun so I can continue to watch its growth and prosperity, which I think is really cool. Um, and actually right over here, where this is a fence line back here, is the Phoenix Zoo. And uh, if I had a longer lens, I'm almost certain we'd see long, longhorn sheep up on top of mountains, but I don't have that lens with me. So we're gonna shoot with the 80, which is like a 50, 55 equivalent. Here we go. Okay, so I burnt that roll of HP5 up. <clears throat> I don't know how many keepers I got out of that, but I was eager to get to the Velvia because I literally have sunset in five minutes. So I may get just a handful of keepers from this, but, but that's all that matters. I'm really just experimenting. I've never shot this gun before. Uh, here we go, time to break out the tripod. Well, it looks like I missed the light. I mean, yeah, the sky looks great behind me, but on my subject, it's all in the shadows. I just missed it. So what I'm gonna have to do is wake up early and shoot tomorrow. Okay, a lot. I'm gonna try to grab a couple shots. I think I'm gonna shoot the whole roll. The light's amazing. My compositions are terrible, but at least this will be a good test to tell me how this film reacts in this light. All right, I've got, I've got five images left. Let's knock these out. 